Hey folks, welcome back to Affiliate Retirement. So what we're going to do, um, I recorded a video a couple days ago I'm making some axles for a Smith Miller truck that I'm working on. And that video turned out a little bit longer than I thought. Uh, I was going to insert it in the truck video, but I decided it was long enough on its own to just make it a standalone video on making axles for Smith Miller trucks. I see this question from time to time on on the social media about how to go about doing that. I'm fortunate enough to have the tooling uh, to, to make that happen. Anyway, let's get to work. Okay folks, we need a couple axles for a couple Smith Miller trucks. Actually mostly one Smith Miller truck right now. I know you can't see me. I couldn't get the camera where it would show the lathe and me at the same time except for my hands. So here we have just a quarter inch aluminum rod. It's just stock that I buy on Amazon. Uh, so we're just going to put it in the lathe here. The lathe is a 1937 South Bend that I have owned for 25 or 30 years. So we've been together for a while. Uh, if you know anything about lays, failure will basically only use a four jaw chuck. Uh, never really hardly had a three jaw chuck that I was satisfied with how well it's centered up for the type of work that I do. So a lot of this on these axles is just strictly eyeball. And what I did is I already made a template. I need three axles all the same. So I made a template, test fit it. It's the right length. It's a little hard to get the right length uh, to measure it accurately with the tools that I have. So... And then I use uh, what's called a parting tool, very narrow blade for cutting. It's, it's just made for cutting things off. And it's about the perfect width for the little rings that lock the wheels on there. So that's what I use. I'm going to start the lathe up now, and you'll see the whole thing. It doesn't take long at all. Hopefully that's not bouncing you too much. This old lathe is just flat belt drive. So we're just cutting our groove for the ring, the Smith Miller ring. Guy doesn't check the depth at all. His eyeballs are in there. I've never yet got one that was too shallow or too deep not that important that they're exactly the same finished product not exactly a high-speed operation and then this is probably not quite not the right thing to do but guy just tapers the end just a little bit with the flat file it's way faster than changing tooling now back to the four jaw chuck I have each screw numbered this is number one, and this is number four. These are the two that I'm using today. That will keep my center really, really close if I always use the same two. So again, guy just eyeballs a whole bunch of this. Tighten number four, tighten number one, go back and check number four, tighten up. This is just aluminum. Double check our length. Yeah, it looks good. Cut the second groove real quick. I 
that death looks pretty good. Give it a second to just kind of true up a little bit. All right. Now we'll use a parting tool for what it's made for. What I do on my template piece, I put a ring in there. I found over the years that that is a big help because I just get it where that ring drops in the new groove on the new part. And then I know they're all the same. Get the lathe going. Alright, so we've got our cut started. Here's the sketchiest thing. Failure does, safety third. Get that file up close to that chuck. It's probably not a good idea. But we've got the little taper on the end of this axle and got her started on the next one already. Now we're just going to finish knocking this off. Done. Now got a little burr on the end here. I don't know if you can really see that. See the little burr? Harding tool won't quite get it all. But this is aluminum. So it just takes a second on this file. I guess maybe you can't see that. It just takes a second on this file. To just knock that right off. All right. Just like that. Six minutes into this video with a bunch of me yakking. And we got a Smith Miller axle. All right, there you have it. Smith Miller axles, simple as that. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please drop a comment, and we'll see you next time on Failure Retirement. Have a good day.